Welcome back to the channel and Doc's video, I watched it. He was talking about because hey, Gaming News Weekly, Sundays, 1 1 p.m. Central Time. I'm in the US. That's kind of how I do that. But Gaming News Weekly, yesterday, Sunday, we we had a good old time there. We were talking, Doc came through the chat, and we started talking about the series S, the parody clause, all of that. And he was he was talking about how he felt about it. He made a video about it. He told me he was in the chat. So he told me he was going to make a video about it. I didn't get to see it until today. I just got off work. I'm all settled in now. Now I was back to the YouTubes. And uh, I watched the video. And I, I, I'm I, starting to understand where they're coming from with this, oh, the parody clause is holding back the Series X type thing. But when I think of Xbox, I don't think of the Series X, the console that I bought, the more powerful one as a different console from the S. When people make games for Xbox, they make Xbox games. The X and the S play those Xbox games. When Blizzard dropped Diablo 4 on Xbox and PlayStation, the X and the S got the same game. But when it comes to Larian Studios and Baldur's Gate 3, since Larian is making his big extravagant game it is the highest rated game of all time at the moment. It's on PC. Everybody's loving it. It's coming to PlayStation. Xbox fans feel left out. And Larian told us straight up front, the Series S is harder to develop for. They're work they have to work harder to get the Series S version of the game to run exactly like the Series X version of the game or the PS5 version of the game. So they have to delay it. Series X owners... On the Xbox side of things, took that as like, oh, so if the Series S didn't exist, we would have that game too. I mean, nobody can say for sure, but Larian. But the problem is, yeah, they have to work harder on the Series S version of the game, so they're delaying it. And everybody's like, well, just drop the X version of the game. There has never been an X version of an Xbox game. I don't know where they got that idea from. There's no such thing. In my eyes, anyway, there's Xbox games, and those games run on Xbox hardware, just like PC games run on PC hardware. And I'm like, when I when I hear this, cause I, cause I was saying he said it in here that he that cause when I told him like that sounds entitled, bro. That sounds entitled. Like, oh, since I bought the more powerful console, I deserve to get things first. Or get things before the lower end console people get it. And I'm like, that sounds entitled, Doc, bro. That sounds like since you spent more money, you deserve more. Because there, there's people, there's literal people on the internet. I've seen some videos get sent to me on Discord. I didn't react to those. But there's people saying like, oh, they should just make the S owners play the game in the cloud. And I'm like, so you want developers to make cloud versions of games? Instead of the S version of games and just make the S people play it in the cloud when they could literally have developers make the Xbox version of the game run on both of those. I'm I'm confused. I'm real deal confused on why they're separating the X and the S now. Like that is so wild. When when Xbox announced the two consoles and one of them was worse than the other one, we all chose to buy the better one. Because games are going to run better on our Xbox games, games that come to Xbox, are going to run better on this one. Now they want games faster because they bought the better one. It is crazy. It sounds wild to me when I hear that. I'm like, now you want games faster because PlayStation looks better. That is, that is where all this stems from. Since Larian Studios has to work harder on the Xbox version of the game, which every developer has to work harder on the Xbox version of the game. They think because PlayStation gets the game first, since it was easier to develop for, and they feel left out, they rather crucified half the console Xbox is built <laughs> just so they can feel included with the PlayStation community because they get a game that Xbox doesn't. And I'm like, PlayStation got plenty of games that Xbox didn't. Did people just forget Persona was on PlayStation for how long before it came to Xbox? And there was no reason why it couldn't be on Xbox. They just chose not to put it on there. 
why is Red Dead Redemption 1 still not hit PC? There's no reason it shouldn't be on there. They just chose not to fucking put it on there. So if Larian is making the Xbox version of the game after they finish the PlayStation version of the game, after they finish the PC version of the game, how that the S being a problem wouldn't change the timeline anyway. Because if PC is their primary place, this is where I want to put my game. And they put it there. PlayStation came next. They developed the PlayStation version of the game. They didn't do all this shit simultaneously. They don't have a studio that big. So they have to choose the version to work on. Then they go work on the next one. If Xbox's version of the game is going to take longer and they waited last to make it, of course it's going to take longer. But oh, since the S version is taking longer than the X one is, they like, cut the S out. Just give us the game. And it's like, the S owners want to play the game too. There's where I see the entitlement at. Because you're just saying like, oh, S owners don't deserve the game because us X owners could have the game already if y'all didn't exist. That is crazy talk, bro. <laughs> that is wild. That is, that is some of the crazy shit. And it's not like it's false. If the S didn't exist, of course, the X would probably have games faster. But it's still the develop. It's on the developers to make the game for the Xbox to begin with. And if they choose to make it for Xbox, and they're gonna make the Xbox version of the game run on the X and the S, both hardware simultaneously, let them do their job, bro. Y'all trying to make their job easier by literally telling them to alienate a whole community of people. That is that's crazy. That's just that's kind of, that's just like asking for console exclusivity of a game, but in between brands. This is this is like Death Stranded coming to Xbox Game Pass PC and not to the console version. That is exactly what they're asking for. Look, Death Stranded came to Xbox on PC, not the console version, and that was strange as hell. It did come to Xbox though, but only the PC version of Xbox, the PC extension of Xbox. It could have came to console. It definitely could have came to console, but they chose not to. This is this is the weird dilemma that the Xbox community is in now for some reason. And it's so strange. And it's all because Larian Studios made a great game that everybody wants to play, which is good. Everybody wants to play the game. But now people are getting, getting entitled to the game because they paid more. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Because you paid more, you think you're more entitled to the game. That's crazy. That is crazy. But I'm in it right here. So thank you all for watching. Like, subscribe, be new. I don't know. I don't know. That's just how I see it, bro. That is wild because you paid more. You think like, oh, <laughs> the lore in hardware is a problem <laughs> because my high end hardware hardware doesn't get what it deserves. Like everybody get what they deserve, bro. Do you really deserve Baldur's Gate three because you paid for? I think not. <laughs> but uh, I mean, hey, I'll see y'all in the next video.